Putin came out in a big interview and said, independent, free political debate is essential and that citizens shouldn't be censored for their criticism of government or their support or anything else. He said what really mattered was stopping criminals and cyber hacking and things like that. And he was critical of the massive censorship we see popping up in the European Union and now the United States. So Putin understands that we're dealing with authoritarianism here in the West that covers its actions under the name of hate speech and political correctness, but really it's just good old fashioned totalitarianism and censorship and it's getting worse. I've never been to Russia and I'm not a Russophile, but I do know that most of the claims mainstream media makes against Vladimir Putin and Russia turn out to be almost entirely untrue or flat out lies. Like the fact that he kills members of the media all the time or shuts down the free press. None of it's true. He has taken over some of the state-run media and put people in that are actually pro-Russia, pro-sovereignty, pro-Christian, pro-free market. But there's no evidence he's had any members of the media killed. But separate from that, let's just say he's got problems. Okay, fine. Paul Watson has a big article up on Infowars.com pointing out today that Putin came out in a big interview and said, independent free political debate is essential and that citizens shouldn't be censored for their criticism of government or their support or anything else. He said what really mattered was stopping criminals and cyber hacking and things like that. And he was critical of the massive censorship we see popping up in the European Union and now the United States. So Putin understands that we're dealing with authoritarianism here in the West that covers its actions under the name of hate speech and political correctness, but really it's just good old fashioned totalitarianism and censorship, and it's getting worse. Again, Christina Amanpour saying arrest people that say Hillary is a crook to the former FBI director. This is the nature of what we deal with. So where is it going to go from this point? Well, only down, because President Trump's done a great job on many other fronts. But so far, other than saying he would go after colleges with an executive order uh, that don't allow free speech on campus, he's done almost nothing other than tweet about it, about the organized racketeering, massive coordinated censorship to manipulate and steal the last election 2018 and to clearly try to steal 2020. From Brian Stelter to the rest of them, they're on television calling for more censorship and basically policing the corporate media polices for big tech. And it's dangerous. It's un-American. And it's up to us, we the people, to take action politically, economically, to stop it and to light a fire to the president's butt to do that as well. You know, Trump's uh, former DHS head kept soft soaping what was happening at the border and backpedaling and playing games and talking out both sides of her mouth and she's gone now and a hardliner is about to be put in and a lot of that's because we've been keeping a fire lit under trump's butt he's busy he's getting pulled from a lot of different sides and he means well but in all this cacophony of voices we need to be the loudest defending this republic so let's continue to lobby the president to defend the First Amendment and to stop big tech racketeering to make sure they follow Section 230. But again, Vladimir Putin, free speech is critical for an open, free society, and the Internet shouldn't be censored. Only criminal activity should be stopped. Sounds like Putin's trying to follow Section 230. Maybe we should as well. It's so important. For everyone to remember, without you financially supporting us, we're not here. And the globalist, amongst all the other shows out there, they want this one shut down because we're spot on. We give wide spectrum analysis. We don't go with a talking point. We just have a real debate until we figure out what's going on. So please don't forget, the biggest sale of the year so far, store-wide free shipping, 50% off all the InfoWars Life amazing products. That's the Brain Force best-selling nootropic with all the best ingredients for focus and clarity. X2 just came in, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday. It starts shipping out today. 50% off the original good halogen. Super Mel Vitality, Body's Ultimate Turmeric Formula, all 50% off Alpha Power, Stamina, Libido Energy, Super Strong, 50% off all the Super Blue Fluoride-Free Toothpaste for adults and children, Colloidal Silver Iodine Fortify, 50% 
50% off the mouthwash, the immune gargle, 50% off in all sizes, 50% off DNA Force Plus. That is a huge deal. It's the strongest, best CoQ10 bio PQQ formula out there. Amazing. Read what it does for your telomeres. Knockout, the sleep aid, 50% off. Vitamineral Fusion, 50% off. And a bunch of other big sales and store-wide free shipping and double Patriot points. That's 10% off on your next order. And you sign up for auto ship additional 10% off. Those are the biggest deals ever. Those match our best deals ever. Infowarsstore.com, the great protein bars, all of it, 50% off. Call toll free, 888-253-313 out of your purchase. Makes everything we do here possible.